<laughs> it's retro week here on GMBN. We've got a theme week. Loads of cool stuff talking about the history of mountain bikes and digging out some old bikes and riding them. Yeah, so we did dig out our old bikes. All three bikes like this. We're going to put some challenges together. Well, uh, some bikes are definitely better than others, and that's what we're going to find out today. Who has the best retro bike? This is a Kona Lava Dome from 1989. This is the bike I used to do my paper round on and then race at the weekends. Uh, it's mostly original. It's got a snowflake front wheel. It's got a ringlet bottle cage uh, and it is reliable. Is that mech more than the bike? It is. I'd say quirky. I like it. Nice. So this is my Marin Shoreline Trail. Uh, this thing has three inches of travel, front and rear. Front and rear. Uh, it is built for free ride. It says it right here. FRS, free ride sport. Um, it's pretty gnarly. Uh, the stem's pretty big. Looks like a banana. Fugly. Absolutely disgusting. This is my GT Shazang. It's a titanium frame. It's from around the mid 90s. It's not an original, we'll get to that later. And I think this is super cool because it's got Phil XTI and everything. Super nice. Classic. All right, what about the cool factor of these brands? Who's been like the top pros and going through history? Oh. Kona, I don't even know. Like, Joe Murray was the original. Yeah. Cindy oh. Devine, old Daniel Racer. Daniel Championship. Borden, Robbie Borden. Yeah. Okay. Dave Hemmings. What about you? What about you? Dave Hemmings did ride those. Dave Hemmings did ride this. Yeah. And it's the only one I know. Um, earthquake Jake Watson, the late Earthquake Jake. He famously rode a giant, one of those. Surprisingly, not as many as I would think of for yeah, a company like that. Yeah. I can't think about it. For heritage. Well, wow. <laughs> Mercedes Gonzalez, Julie Furtado, Hans Ray, Rishi Greywell, Mike King, Mike Steve Lopes, Pete, Brian Lopes, Nicholas Brule, uh, Fabian Burrell. The list goes on and on. Probably the biggest racing brand of all time, I think. Points to Dottie. Points to Dottie. None for you, shot. None for me. <laughs> Right, in 1995, I raced the National Downhill Championship on this very bike in the morning as a youth <laughs> or a junior. Then went home and did my paper round on the same bike with my number plate on and went back to watch the elites. So back in the day, these bikes weren't all about racing. They are about paper rounds and messing around, skids, wheelies. Car park, car park stuff. Exactly. So who's got the best bike for dicking around on? Ooh. That's the challenge. Okay. Not good. I've got one of those. Nice. Can I narrow the barber? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can't do that. It's like a UK cover. That is it. <laughs> That's... Oh, the Hanzuli. <laughs> That's nice. That's straight out of dirt. Oh. <laughs> this is the one where you end up going backwards around the car park. <laughs> We're landing on your back. Why? Wow. Andre will be <laughs> super impressed with that. And cool factor. And that go for a ride. Yeah. Speed. <laughs> Can you make it too hard, yeah. Do that in there. Go I think it's just wheelies, isn't it? That's what it is. This is a wheelie machine. Just wheelies. Good wheelie, turn around, turn around. That's really oh. good. Oh. <laughs> He's going for a wheelie. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Now that's control. Back offs? Oh, I'm no good at trials. Ooh. Dolly can do back offs. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't think I can do back. Rock walk. Tidy. I think, okay. Wheelies. <laughs> 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 I want to see him loop back again. It won't be the first time on a video. <sighs> the bike looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this bike's pretty good for... Sweet yeah. skin. The rock, did you Still ever do I think the forks just bend backwards. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. That would have been good if the front wheel was off the ground. At the end of that challenge, Doddy is the winner. Right, for this one, we're sending over to the GMBM fans on our Instagram. Who's got the coolest retro bike? Which one would you rep? Neil? This one. Done. Coolest. Mm. Doddy? I think Doddy's got it, isn't it? A true. Doddy might have it. Me? Nah. You think your camera can <laughs> take the, the wrath of Show the... us the good side of the Marin. This is either side. Go ahead, go ahead on so you can't see it. Either way, made in the USA. By a lady called Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is cool, man. I got dual suspension. My Kona Lava Dome got a super nice percentage of 42. Blake's Marin Shoreline Trail, 57%. You lot are mental. That bike is the least super nice bike I've ever seen. But with a win, Doddy's Zhizang. We've got a super nice percentage of 58. All right, boys, I've given you a can of fizzy pop. You've put them in your bottle cages because this challenge is all about how smooth is your ride because I got dual suspensionization right on my, <laughs> my rig right here. I have dual suspensionization. You wow. are gonna... So the thing is, you're going to put it on your bike. I've put mine in my bottle cage right here. Look at that. It's going to pop. It's gonna... <laughs> Mine's hopefully it doesn't fall out. We're going to ride this gnarly section just up the top. Get to the bottom. You're going to have a refreshing drink. Probably all over your face. I might have to <laughs> not in your mouth. do mine at the bottom. You might. I'll do it wherever I can get past. I might have to walk up and get mine. I can feel the hiccups coming already. <laughs> yeah. Quite scared, guys. Well, yeah. What's this? That's like triple the speed I'm even going to be able to do. Oh my god! <laughs> Drop it in! <laughs> oh my, can't see! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 oh! <Hi. laughs> oh! Did you hear your ball? No, that was a knob! Oh, oh yeah! That's really <laughs> sad! <laughs> I can't, I can't ride that. Oh my God. I've got to check it. I was literally fully out of control. <laughs> I unclipped and rode that on the sausage on the end of my saddle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 I nearly just kept my shoulder in pain. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's do that again. I, I, I don't know what I did. I went off the first bit, unclipped and I went. <laughs> Have you Check checked the, the old member? It's fine, there's no, <sighs> just a bit sore. Let's, Let's try that again. again. Yeah, <laughs> in slow-mo. After our bone shaking and sausage squashing first run, we moved on to our second section. I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> I sprung a leak! That's not good! <laughs> well then. Well, my magic cup is not really magic, is it? <laughs> it sprung a leak, and I just bombed it. Oh well. I will say it went smoothly, if they don't look at the replay. Go on! <laughs> oh, here comes Neil. <laughs> oh, I could crack that. Stay Gotta on. see it. Mine didn't break at all. Oh, that was like a weak Ribena open. It's not so bad. Yeah, mine wasn't that bad either. My wrists are broken. Thought he is the smoothest rider. Actually, he's quite nervous. He might be going slow, so that's cheap. Mine was all right. Mine didn't fizz at all. Because you can, you've got a big hole in it. 
No, it hasn't. Go on, Johnny! Go on, Johnny! Go on, Johnny! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah! <sighs> Cheers. Ooh. Yours didn't fizz much, you're right Cheers. up. Oh, right up. <laughs> Yours didn't fizz much. <laughs> so your ones were quite weak ribenery. They didn't fizz at all. For some reason, mine sprung a leak. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's because of this tug thing here. Yeah. Sprung a leak and then just like can bombed it, whatever you call it. Oh, you suggested that your, um, your, sus it. your suspension didn't work very well. And your can shock. Or because I've got suspension, my confidence was higher. <laughs> I think you could go so faster. I could go faster. I couldn't go fast at all because I was slipping off the paddles constantly. I couldn't and even see. It was just horrendous. Did you? I you think we all rode out up there. I think we all scored one point for that. Yeah. Or particularly not smooth. Not smooth at all. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what's good for this. No bike noises. <laughs> see you at the bottom. <laughs> Am my 250. Change off. <laughs> so one last thing to do, I suppose, is to take his bike for a ride and see if you actually enjoy riding these relics. Well, like an epic ride. Not epic. Definitely it's going to be. It's going to be epic with these things. I tell you, you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> Hang on. Lock on. <laughs> Grip shift more like. <laughs> Neil, yours is going to be all right climbing. I quite happily paddle this up here. What's the problem, Neil? I think my crank might be coming loose. Coming loose or coming off? Well, both, I suppose. <laughs> Where's Doddy? Doddy, what are you doing? Checking my bell ends all right. Nice. Same smooth, Blake. There's something going on with it. Doesn't look like much of a climber, that Blake. No. It's real heavy. Like, it doesn't want to get in gear. It's strange for grip shift to not perform. Yeah. It's definitely not the climbing bike, is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, it's broken. Hang on. Ah, uh, hate this. Look at the chain, all right? Look how loose it is. It's because that's SRAM and that's Shimano. Climbs like a dream, to be honest. Perfect position, it's basically like a dirt road bike. Look at that stem. I'm not really bothered about this though, it's uh, what comes after this. You went into this hole and you just went blue. Oh, <laughs> That was good fun. Yeah, I feels like a running out. Hey. Normal bike. <laughs> yeah. This is the vintage practicality round. You get a point for each year since manufacture, but you lose one for each upgrade you've had to do to keep the bike running. So on my bike, it's 2001. Uh, the two things I had to change on it is the rear mech and my tires of choice. So my GT, I reckon it's about 1998, can't be too specific, so that puts it about 21 years old. I've only had to change the tyres because the tyres have perished. So mine's the oldest bike, I score 30 points for that, and it's pretty much original, except for the stem, the grips, the front brake, the back brake, the shifter, 
the cassette, the rear mech, the chain, the chain ring, the cranks, the tires, and that's about it. I think if you pick the smoothest trails, that was all right. That was, was quite fun. That was good fun. But out of three, <laughs> would you do that? Well, I think num give it a three if you think that was ace and you do that all the time. Yeah. Ride your retro bike on trails. Yeah. Give it a two if it's okay. It's fun occasionally, but you wouldn't want to do it all the time. Give it a one if you never want to do it ever again. I'd, I'd go two. Two. Not, two. A, chance, not a chance with uh, riding it all the time. No, hell no. Hell no. It's so hard to ride. Rough downhill trails on a fully rigid 26 inch bike. Horrible, but that was fun. That was fun. We did pick the right trail though. You know the scores. Yeah. Right, so to the scores, and of course these are for the bikes, not for us. Yeah. In third place, the 2001 Marin Shore, whatever, whatever it's called. <laughs> Shoreline Trail. Shoreline Trail. With 23 points. The newest bike is the worst, apparently. Yep. It's, it's, a, it's a common it's, occurrence. It's, yeah. yeah. I would have thought yeah. that. I mean, according to our accurate uh, scoring system, at least. No, but this is like legit, isn't it? Legitly disgusting. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, in second place, the Kona Lava Dome with Ooh. 27 points. Oh, and that, wow, well, it is inevitable. Well, f f in first place by a long margin, 32 points goes to the GT. How do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, Shazang. Shazang. X1 <laughs> Zang. Good old work, Gary Turner. It's a lovely bike, to be it fair. It is nice. That is full retro, isn't it? It's a cool bike as well. Do you yeah. know what? Even forgetting the rest of the bike, just that bit alone is terrifying. Change the bar and stem. Yeah. Good, good bike. Slightly shorter and be alright. My right, dad's right? got yeah. that. My dad's the got that bike. The frame is really comfortable. The transmission, pretty flawless. The brakes work. It's good. Loads more stuff coming from Retro Week, so keep your eyes peeled. We've got a Retro podcast, a history of mountain bike documentary we shot mm. in Marin Ooh. County. Ooh, yep, where this yeah. thing is from. Yep, coming up in the next few days. Loads of good stuff. Yeah, and if you want to get involved with that, some of the merch we've got, we've got these cool Retro t-shirts in our store. If you want to get involved, there are a limited, like, Super amount. Print, Super, yeah. yeah, we're not going to do it ever again. That really dirty one is very, very limited. This one's very limited. So one so is two off. Uh, keep an eye out on GMBN Tech as well. There's loads of stuff coming up at the same time as GMBN. Plenty of cool stuff. Thumbs up if you like ragging old bikes around the woods.